friends, it's Nancy. Welcome back to part seven of uh, Summer Country Diary using pages from Edith Holden's Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. So um, the last project we did was uh, was this one, the uh, page 118. So we're going to use up our leftovers from this project. Am I in frame? Yeah, I'm in frame. Um, we're going to use up leftovers from this project to make the next one. Okay, so I had leftover dictionary pages. Um, I For the pocket, I had doubled up the pages. For this one, I'm going to quadruple up the pages. So I've glued together four layers of the leftover um, dictionary page. And I'm going to cut a strip that's an inch and a quarter wide. Now, my strip is oh, just just a bit more than eight and a half inches long. I will be tearing some off, so never fear. I need a pencil. I don't have a pencil. I do have a bone folder. So what I'm going to make here is a, uh, an edge um, embellishment for the edge of a page. It can also be used as sort of a belly band sort of thing or a tuck spot. Um, so what I want to do is from the top edge, I'm going to measure three inches. Okay, then from that edge, I'm going to measure two and a half inches, so five and a half from the top. And then from the next measurement, I'm going to go down another two and a half inches, so that's eight. And then um, from the first fold, I'm going to measure two and a half inches. I guess I could have just done a half an inch from flipping it the other way, but I didn't. Okay. So I want to accordion fold this. like that. Okay. And that one's a little off. It's going to be okay though. I'll just kind of I'll just kind of hold it in place. Now, I'm going to stand up so I can make sure this is captured. So I'm using a, an ordinary hole punch and I'm just putting in the very corner of all of the folds and making a semi semicircle there. Okay. Let's do some ink. Uh, so at these ends, I'm just going to tear them as if they've been torn from a strip of tickets. Like that.
and I want both of the folds to be going forward because when I ink it I want it to look similar and when I find my ink we'll go for it So you can start to see that it looks like a strip of tickets. Now we've got this. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these leaves off and I will fussy cut around those leaves. Um, And then these three blossoms, I will also fussy cut around. And these aren't difficult shapes. Uh, the only awkwardness is, is how long and thin the stems are. We're just gonna do our darndest, aren't we? Um, I don't know that I've ever made tickets before. Um, but I was thinking about, you know, what else is common in junk journals? What haven't I made in previous Edith Holden projects? Because we've already done spring and winter. So I don't want to, um, repeat projects. I'm just leaving a little bit of a, an edge there. Whoop. Going crazy, throwing stuff. I don't know what to watch on TV now. I've now that I'm done with Designated Survivor. It's sort of like reading a book. You know, you finish a book and you're really satisfied with the book and you just don't know what to read. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, it'll give me more time to craft. not going to do any sewing on this one. Although I suppose I could. I'm not going to. So I will leave that up to you if you want to do some stitching. Go for it. When I, maybe when I attach this part into a journal, I will sew it to the journal page. That's an option. Maybe I should have done this ahead so you don't have to suffer through watching me fussy cut. But at least you get an idea of how long the project is, is actually going to take to finish. Bent that. Okay. 
Here's one. I probably will get out my X-Acto knife to do the inside bits there. And although the, this illustration shows the stem going in front of that leaf, once you cut it off, you can't tell. It just looks like a leaf. I'm going to use the uh, the name to make a little label. Grass of Parnas Parnassus Parnassus. thinking about how I'm going to ink these and then uh, I might use a q-tip just to sort of give that cut edge a little you know something because I don't want to bend or tear these long skinny stems We can cut this leaf off. We're not going to use that one. And you're probably thinking, Nancy, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> uh huh. Well, I don't really know. Tomorrow is Father's Day. Also National Indigenous Day. And unfortunately, because of COVID, there won't be a lot of uh, Indigenous events. Usually there would be, you know, maybe a powwow or maybe some lectures or other events but no can do thanks covid <laughs> box of quat and swabs for years and years and years and I just keep filling it up because it's just such a handy little package. Oh, I was going to get it my exacto knife too.
getting very quiet. I'm thinking really hard. Can you hear the hamster on his mill? Just running on his wheel like crazy. There we go. That looks good. glue on my thumbnail, you'd think I'd be able to just pick up anything. There we go. So we were, we went out for breakfast this morning. I said that earlier today. I, I'm doing a couple of videos in one shot. And there's a place on the same street, in the same block, that makes these uber fancy donuts. Um, and the donuts are like four or five dollars a piece. A dozen, I think a dozen is thirty six dollars. And you would not believe the lineup. And every once in a while, a staff person would come out and say, Is there anybody here with an online order? Can you give me your number? And they would flip out their phone and my order number is yada yada yada. Okay. I could not believe how many people were there. And these donuts, oh my gosh, they are, the place is called Lady Glaze and it's on Belmont, uh, Belmont Ave? I think it's Belmont Ave. It's in the village. And, uh, Um, I have had a donut from there recently. Doug brought me home one the other day and it was huge. And it had, you know, those malted chocolate ball Maltesers or whatever you call them. Um, sort of embedded in icing on the top and then the filling inside was a chocolate mousse. Ugh. So good. But there's another place in town that makes fancy schmancy donuts. Um, I can't think of the name right now. It's got, it's a German name. Out on Strasbourg. Um, and my son will sometimes go and pick out, you know, half a dozen donuts and then come over and we'll get out a sharp knife and a cutting board and we'll cut them into thirds <laughs> so we each end up with two donuts um well sometimes I tap out before I finish a full two but we're we're only getting a third of each one so we can try all the flavors this one I was trying to think there's one more to go My office where I, where I work when, you know, we're working, there's a bakery right next door. It's called Norris Bakery. And the bread there, oh. Yesterday I got these cheese buns. I brought them home and Doug grilled a couple of hamburgers for, for supper last night. Oh man, the buns. They're not so good at sweet stuff though. Uh, their cookies are dreadful, but the bread. Oh, and they make um, strudel. Strudel. I'll put you in a coma. It's so good. I must be hungry. I'm talking about food. <laughs> okay. Now, I want it going that way. And I need my glue. And... I'm going to put some glue on this one. Not going to glue the outside petal because that's going to overhang a bit. Okay. 
that leaf might overhang a bit too. I might have to wipe some glue off of this. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this up and I want I want this to sort of come down this to the center bottom, but lean towards the right. Okay. This one, I'm not going to do, again, the outside of this the right hand side of this blossom. Okay. And this one I'm going to lean out this side and cross over the stem at the center. Uh, and this one is going to come down here and sort of be hanging off this ticket. Okay. Ah. Actually, I think I'm going to go a little higher. And then this leaf that leaf I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it right along there. So the center stem right along where all the stems are crossed. I had a plan, isn't it? I don't know how much this is going to stick to the ticket itself, but we'll put some down and see what happens. Okay. And I'll just cut this it off. Okay, so there's a strip of tickets. So if this was on a page, I'll just grab this, um, so we could, you know, attach it to the page here and then then it could be used as like a, a, a tuck spot like that. Or if it was just attached front, top and bottom, it could be like a belly band. Or it could just uh, be on the inside edge of the page. And again, you know, tuck some things in there. So there's lots of options. I think it's really simple and pretty. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and got some ideas for your own journal. And uh, if you're following along, if you're following along, leave me a comment. I'd love to know. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.